Hi friends, it's Emily and welcome back to my coloring channel. Today I have another tag video for you and it is a tag coloring discoveries of 2020. And the originator of this beautiful tag was Emma Colors 2020. And she is also the one who tagged me. <laughs> so thank you so much, Emma, um, for creating uh, this beautiful tag and also for tagging me, of course. I think it's just a beautiful summary of our coloring year 2020. And who knows, maybe we will do it um, every year now. Who knows? But it also gave me um, something to think about. It uh, wasn't that easy because I think when you just start out um, with our beautiful hobby, you just buy a lot. And later on, you try to be more mindful and not buy as much. And so I really had to think about what did I buy last year. <laughs> uh, lucky me that I have a YouTube channel. So I just watched a few videos and um, yeah, there we go. I found a few things that I can use to answer all the questions. So let's get started. Number one, what are your five favorite new coloring supply purchases of 2020? So the first item that I want to share is the Dollar One Three Three. This is a sharpener. Uh, it's a manual one and um, it makes a really nice sharp point. And I use this one all the time now. Since I have it, I use it. Yeah, I, I would say daily, but I don't color daily. So, but I use it all the time when I color. So this is one of my favorite items this year. Then I also got this Kuino Heart Mode. Um, this is an eraser pencil. And this is my favorite um, eraser for small details. Very beautiful item. Then another item that I'm very fond of. I found the gelatos last year. Well, I found them for me. Um, together with those brushes here and I really enjoy using them and last year I only used them one time but I already started to um, use them more this year and I really love those this is a big love I can already tell <clears throat> then I also got the Arteza no then I also got the Arteza 120 um, expert colored pencils and yeah this is also I hate those things so I won't take it out um, I have to get a pencil case for them I guess otherwise yeah this would be just too nerve-wracking to um, yeah to get those tins out here Today I would like to share some happy mail with you and look what I've got. I've ordered the 120 set of the Arteza pencils and they just arrived. And I have to say this is a really beautiful, cute, small tin. And I think this is really unique about Arteza that they have this really compact um, tin. And you can take it anywhere. So I have to say I really like this. Uh, on the back side, as usual, there are like a color list. I think the only downside is that inside the pencils are not um, not in this order. Oops! Oh my gosh! And I hate those. Why don't they give like elastic bands? Oh my gosh, I can't take them out. This is a really downside. Okay, <laughs> I have it. Okay, let's take a look. They are like really beautiful, right? But yeah, those Arteza pencils are really um, beautiful ones. I just have to use them a whole lot more now. And then one last item that I want to share is those Ohuhu markers that I got. And this is a cheaper brand of alcohol markers. And I got this really nice, um, lovely 
collection here. And yeah, what I do like about those uh, markers is that I can just try out, um, yeah, to blend with them, to practice a little bit, try out color combinations and to see if I really like to work with those alcohol markers before I buy more of those more expensive ones. So um, this is really a nice um, item that I use actually, yeah, quite often for base layering at least and also for playing with the blends. Then the second question is, what are your five favorite book purchases of 2020? And then I will start with Cute and Creepy by Camilla Derrico. And this is one of my, um, um, oops, yeah. This is one of my 10 books to finish. And I actually realized that from those books that I show now, uh, quite a few of those are some of my 10 books to finish this year. So I really like them. Another one is My Little Mermaids by uh, Mariola Budek. I also really enjoy this book here. We have here this little overview. And yeah, this is really a very favorite purchase last year because I really love the style of Mariola Budek. And in this cute style, I adore her even more. Then I got the Fairy and Fantasy by Christine Karen. And this is also one of my 10 books to finish. And yeah, this is also just a very beautiful book. I love the art from Christine Karen so much because I love to color um, portrait styles and yeah, Christine has many portraits. So one of my favorite purchases last year. Next one is Jade Summer Kawaii Christmas. And I have to admit that I don't color Jade Summer very often lately, but I still love her style. I mean, not all of her books, but the Kawaii, kawaii style. Um, I really enjoy. I enjoy those detailed images, those really cute and cozy ones. Um, yeah. So, Kawaii Christmas by Jade Summer. And then I want to show you another digital book that I printed. And this is The Witch Season by Jana Prosvirina. And I really love Jana's, um, yeah drawing um, style, especially of her autumn and um, yeah, which images that she draws. I really love them and I have to color those a lot more. And yeah, hopefully this year I will find the time and just do it. That would be just fun. So just a few images that are printed from this book. Of course, the book has a few more images. I think it has 25 in total. Yes, 25 images. This would also be a nice book for those 10 books challenge, actually. Maybe next year. We'll see. So what's the next question? I think the next question was... Um, so question number three. What is one most precious coloring supply or book you have purchased? that you never use because it's too special. And for me, it's a book. And it is a book by Kenoko Igusa, The Symphony of Cute Animals. And yeah, Kenoko's books, they are all very special and very precious to me because yeah, I just love her art style so, so much. And I really don't want to ruin those books. Um, actually it's silly because we buy those books to color in them um, but yeah I think I'm also happy just looking at her drawings and but I also have a coloring heaven magazine and maybe I will start just in this magazine just to get started with her beautiful images but this one is very very precious to me four Name five new YouTube channels or YouTubers you are most glad to have found 
oh, to have discovered this year and why. Not this year, the, the last year in 2020. So the first YouTuber that I discovered last year is actually Emma Collis 2020. And um, yeah, she just started her channel last year. And I believe even that she just started coloring maybe last year. And I really like the coloring that she does. And what I love most about her is most probably her very beautiful British accent language. And um, she has just this relaxed way of talking. And she is just a super kind and lovely person to yeah, get in contact with, actually, even. And um, what I also like about her channel is actually that she has those videos for color longs for the months. She always has such a video in the beginning. I believe in the beginning of a month and uh, she shares all the hashtags that she found for color lungs on Instagram and presents the images that she or the books that she wants to color in for this month. Yeah, and I just enjoying to watch her. Um, just to just this morning I saw uh, that on my YouTube ranking she's actually on the third place of obviously the uh, most watched YouTubers. Um, that I watch recently. So <laughs> there, there is a ranking by YouTube. You can see that it's always um, changing um, the names that are at top. And uh, this morning Emma was on the third place. <laughs> so I really love to watch her channel. And then the second one is Rosie Crafted Colors. And she is also a newbie on YouTube and also on coloring, I believe. I think she also started in 2020. And um, I really think that she is an amazing colorist. I really like her coloring style. And what I also like about her is also, she's also a British um, YouTuber. Um, yeah, she's also super nice and lovely. And she has also a very calming, warm voice. And um, yeah, I just love to listen to her. And that's actually, this is uh, quite often... One reason why I love to watch YouTubers when they just appeal to my ear, <laughs> when their voice and um, the way of talking appeals to my ear. And yeah, Rosie, I just, yeah, she she got straight to my heart. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just like to watch her videos. And then the third one that I want to mention is Karen Valentine. And... Um, yeah, she has many real-time coloring videos on her channel. She is also very relaxed in her talking. She does mainly portraits, so a topic that I also like to color. And therefore, she is very inspiring to me. And um, of course, I also like to watch you YouTubers that inspire me. And at the moment, she is coloring um, quite a few images of Mystic Art Mirrors and I have to say that those images really look stunning and now I'm in a Mystic Art Mirrors fever again and I want to color everything by Mystic Art Mirrors so yeah she is just very inspiring to me and then the fourth channel that I want to mention is Barbara Color and this is a French channel and what I really like about her videos is that she talks in two languages, actually. So she um, she talks in French and at the same time she translates it to, to English. And this way I can actually, um, yeah, understand what she is talking about and follow it. And this way it's really fun for me to just uh, watch her, to listen to her. And even to learn a little bit French because she is translating it at the same time. And I had French in school and uh, yeah, in in school back then for a few years. And now that I listen to Barbara Koller, it um, yeah, it reminds me of some of the words and everything. And it's just fun. It's just fun to watch her. And she is an amazing colorist as well, of course. And um, yeah. And the last one that I want to mention is actually Daria Draws. And um, I think everyone knows Daria. She is color in chicks. 
to she creates coloring pages for us the most beautiful ones i love her style and i really love to um, follow her videos in which she presents us how uh, how to color her own images and yeah i just like to study her way of um, yeah coloring she uses all different mediums from alcohol markers to pastels to um, pencils and everything so it's a lot of fun actually and this also leads to the next question which is name three new artists you have discovered in 2020 and Daria Draws Colour and Chicks is one of those um, artists that I discovered last year and I really uh, enjoy her, yeah, her images. And this year she also brought out a physical coloring book. And I actually just got this to support her kind of. Because, you know, I prefer to color those on my own printed um, paper. But now that I have this book, I will test it out. The paper actually does feel quite nice. It's very, very thin, of course, very flimsy. But I think it would take pencils quite well. And um, this is a new purchase, by the way, from this year already. But I, um, this you will also see in my haul video later this month or next month, most probably. And then another artist that I want to share is... Um, Cassandra Winter Art. I discovered her last Christmas, I believe. And maybe you remember I showed you those Christmas images that I yeah, wanted to color in last Christmas, but yeah, there wasn't enough time. And I also can show you a few more images. So she has just the most amazing yeah drawing style as well so sandra winter art is a another artist that i've just found and i haven't colored anything from her yet but i really want to i love her style i love her art and then another one the third artist that i found is actually mayumi okihara and I hope you can see it through those um, um, those things here. <laughs> and yeah, I also got two of her books. Um, very late last year, actually. And I also joined her Patreon page now. I found out that she has a Patreon and it's quite... Yeah, it's not too expensive to join there and then you receive a beautiful coloring page every month and you support her so yeah mayumi ogihara this is one of my three artists that i found last year and that i really love haven't colored anything from her yet but i will definitely and i want to do this this year actually and now to the last question um show your six favorite doesn't have to be the best coloring pages completed in 2020 and um, yeah i just had to grab for this book because i know he, in this book is one of those images that i um, really like from those that i did last year and it is actually this one um yeah, what I like about it is um, yeah, the background effect on which I use Neo Color 2 and just a little bit of those Paul Rubens um, shiny watercolors. And yeah, I just love the image itself. I have used my Dove and Light first and tried them on this page and some stickles on the glasses. And yeah, this was just super fun and relaxing to color. And I also like the outcome.
Another one of my favorite images is from the Color Yacht World 3 by Emmanuel Colin. And yeah, here it is. It is this one. <laughs> and I have to say on this image, I think... Oh yeah, this one is, by the way, one of my 10 books. Uh, on this image, I actually also like the delicate background. It's also just a little bit of neo color, very soft. And just a tiny bit of those Paul Rubin shiny watercolors. And as you can see, I really like this effect. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, just enjoyed to color this uh, image. I think those images that I just enjoyed so much while doing or while coloring them are some of my favorites. So. Then I have Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book. And in this book, I really like this image that I did. Um, I think it's just Jasmine that I like about it. Um, I just like her style, those big eyes. And her images are just fun. And I really should color more from her. Love her. Then I want to share a page by Selina Fennec from her Night Magic, Gothic and Halloween coloring book. And in this book I actually... Yeah, I colored this image. And I just have to say that I just love her uh, pages. Um, yeah, those are very illustrative to me. Most often they are kind of a little bit dark or spooky gothic which i really like or very yeah fantastic like fantasy face and everything and um, I, I just think that her images look so beautiful when they are colored in and therefore i really love to watch um, color with alina because she colors quite many of her images and i love them all um, she is maybe almost yeah maybe um, the, the most stunning colorist for coloring um, Selena Fennec images. And then I also want to show you this page. I will take it out. This page by Color and Chicks. As I just said, she is one of those artists that I found last year and I kind of love it her. And yeah, I just love her drawing style. And it was so much fun to to color this one here. I enjoyed doing um, this glitter dress. I also have a video on that. And um, yeah, it was just a big joy to color this image. And then, and I take it out again. The last one that I want to share is our Mystic Art Mirrors. And that's because Mystic Art Mirror's images are always fun to color. She is kind of like Hannah Lynn, you, um, because first, now the, the style is not really the same, but um, for me, she is like Hannah Lynn because I can always color her to get, um, or, or if, when I'm in a coloring slum, and I color something from her, she will help me to get out of there because her images always look stunning once they're finished and they are always fun and I always see them in a very colorful way and I just enjoy Mystic Art Mirrors images. So, and that's actually all for today. So this was the tag. I hope you enjoyed to watch my recap of the last year, coloring wise. And I don't think that I will tag someone because it's already yeah, quite late in the new year. And I think this is really beautiful to do a summary of last year or to to a recap. However, if you have a channel and you were not, if you have a channel and you were not tagged so far and you really want to do this tag, please go ahead and do this tag. Just um, remember to name um, Emma Collis 2020, the originator of this tag. And um, if you want me to watch it, you can just tell me about it in the comment section. 
Um, yeah, so that's all for today. So I hope I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourself, stay creative and bye!